Welcome to our weekly Bible Reader Companion Series. This week our reading is taken from Matthew chapters 13 through chapter 22 with our memory verse being taken from Matthew chapter 18 and verse 4. From the New King James, our memory verse reads, Therefore, whoever humbles himself as this little child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. Today, let's consider some passages found in Matthew chapter 16, verses 21 through 26. Shortly before our text, we have the scene in Caesarea Philippi where Peter, giving answer to Christ's question, Whom say ye that I am? confesses that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of the living God. Jesus goes on to charge his disciples to uh, tell no one that he is the Christ, the Messiah. The time to make that proclamation public had not yet come, and the crisis leading to his death must not be hastened at this point. Jesus goes on to begin preparing his disciples for his coming death. It is clear that they do not understand why he had to die, but he reinforces the importance of his death and discusses the total commitment that is required to be his disciples. Let's pick up the reading now. Uh, in Matthew chapter 16, beginning with verse 21 through verse 26. From that time, Jesus began to show his disciples that he must go to Jerusalem and suffer many things from the elders and chief priests and scribes and be killed and be raised the third day. The third day. Then Peter took him aside and began to rebuke him, saying, Far be it from you, Lord, this shall not happen to you. But he turned and said to Peter, Get behind me, Satan. You are an offense to me. For you are not mindful of the things of God, but the things of men. Then Jesus said to his disciples, If anyone desires to come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. For whoever desires to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. For what profit is it to a man if he gains the whole world and loses his own soul? Or what will a man give in exchange for his soul? It is a clear pivotal point now that his disciples had come to the proper understanding of who Jesus really was, and he begins to prepare them for his death by clearly telling them of the events that waited, uh, awaited them in Jerusalem. Along with his death, he also tells of his resurrection, which would happen on the third day, the sign of Jonah that he has already mentioned in chapter 12 and earlier in this chapter. The prediction of death must have been a great shock to his disciples and certainly caused confusion, as you can imagine the mighty works uh, that they had seen and the power that Jesus had already displayed in his ministry uh, in this life. Peter begins to rebuke Jesus that his death must not be allowed. The Lord then in turn rebukes Peter, uh, whose reasoning was only from a human viewpoint and devoid of the understanding of God's plan by which the means of salvation would be provided. Jesus did not mean that Peter was literally Satan, uh, but that he echoed the desire of Satan, which would be to thwart the plan of God in providing victory and defeating the desires of Satan. Jesus immediately goes on and talks about the total commitment required to be his disciple. True discipleship requires much more than an affirmation that he is the Christ. It involves more than simply bearing a little distress or inconvenience uh, at times, yielding with our whole heart means to die to sin, to die to self, and to follow Christ as his servant. It requires total consecration, total sacrifice and obedience, even possibly to the point of death. Jesus quickly gets to the bottom line of what is most important and of the greatest value uh, in life. If our chief goal in life is to obtain material things that the eye can behold, and that we can handle and enjoy, of what profit will all this world be if one dies and spends eternity uh, in hell? We must become like Christ and follow his example. Salvation is free, but discipleship is costly in that we must deny ourselves. In this context, it means saying no to self. Saying no to self is more than practicing uh, just a set of rules, but must be inclusive of a complete reorientation of our life, a shift from self to God as the ruling principle in our lives. We must have a willingness to bear our own cross, uh, enduring the discomforts of self-sacrifice in this life, choosing to kill sin, mortify the flesh as the way of life in hope of our everlasting reward in heaven. We must completely turn and surrender our life to God to be pleasing unto him, becoming poor in spirit, 
humbling ourselves before God and man is the only way that we will be great in, in the eyes of God and receive that promised reward. Let's continue to meditate on our memory verse, Matthew 18 and verse 4. Therefore, whoever humbles himself as this little child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. Thank you, and join us again tomorrow as we continue to meditate on God's word together. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook for more content like this.